In this video, we're going to explore how you can create a dotted line in Chart.js 3. And a dotted line can be very useful. Right now, you can see here we have our Chart.js, and this is, if you follow my other videos, you probably have already the same structure. We had all these buttons here, everything, but that doesn't matter. Right now, we're going to focus on the dotted line. And how can we do this? Or why should you consider a dotted line? So let me show you, this is a quite interesting a blog about uh, material design or basically what Google figured out and they document a proper way of displaying a chart and one of them is this here you can see here that we have the dotted line when should you use a dotted line and when should you use a solid line well the answer is quite simple and quite straightforward you can see here the solid line will always show you the most recent value for example here the this month value this month would be a solid line. However, if you would have a previous month or comparison with a, a date before, in that case, you will have a dotted line here, as you can see. So the dotted line indicate a month before, well, this is, for example, let's say this is the, the profit line and this would be the revenue. So this would be the revenue of this month and the dotted line would be the revenue of last month. So you create a comparison with historical data compared to the most current data. And as indicated here as well, they don't recommend you different colors here. Why this might create too much confusion, which makes sense. If you look at it, this is easier to understand. So let's start and explore this. And before I even continue on, you might say, well, we have a problem with the legend because the legend doesn't support this kind of structure. That is correct. There are tricks to go around it, but for that we have to create our own legend in Chart.js which is possible and I will cover, cover that in another video but the scope of this video is just to figure out here the dotted line alright so we have here our HTML file let's go back here and let's figure out how can we create a dotted line first of all what I want to do is then I want to remove a line and create a comparison so let's go here to the app or app.js that's the, the part that we have and then in here we start to explore this so let's remove one item here so for now I'm going to remove the cost we don't need this and what I will do here this is green and this is blue oh sorry let's close that let's make this here green as well so we have double colors exactly the same refresh you can see now we have the same items here so how can we create now the dotted line well luckily it's quite easy so let's say this revenue is from 2020 and now we have the revenue of 2021 so the comparison will be always with the oldest data and the oldest data we will have to create a dotted line so that's in here so we're going to put in here an enter and a comma and then in here all we're going to say here is border dash and then here we create an array value and in this array value will be divided into two values number one is the length of the line and number two will be the amount of space so let's say here we want to have a 10 pixel length of the line comma so how many pixels white space or a dot how big would be the dot well in this case let's say we make it five pixels once we have this we can save this refresh and as you can see now we get a nice dotted line on the previous on the historical data of course you can see here we have here some issues which is no problem we can do this next time but this is the most important part here so we have now our historical data and our latest data showing the revenue of 2021 which is quite low in this case all right so this is how you can do it and there's still so much more and we can do some fun part like uh, animations now i'll show you that in another video so i hope you enjoy this and if you do like this check out in the link description i have a course about chart going going deep in the topic and if you have maybe any questions regarding to this video put them in the comment section below